you didn't know? I'm the 77th director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Hu Tao. Though by the looks of you, radiant glow, healthy posture, huh, yes, you are definitely here for something other than that which falls within my regular line of work, aren't you? Yeah? Now just why might you be looking for me, hmm? One client, two clients, three clients. Wanna come over for tea? When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Ah, oh, what a nice breeze. Lightning! Oh, let's bolt! Ah, oh, snow! <laughs> what a bummer. My hat's gonna get blown away. <laughs> Moon's out, and so am I. Oh, you sleepy? Uh, get some rest. I'm gonna take a walk by myself. Yo! Afternoon! Had lunch? Well are those who rise in the early morn. While those late to bed, I shall forewarn. Who as in, who put me in this coffin? And Tao as in, I can't get tout. Uh, no, not funny. You've been all over, so you must have seen a lot. When you've got the time, tell me your story, yeah? Whoosh! Fire butterfly! Be free! Let me show you some fire tricks. First, fire. And then, run around all you like during the day. But you should be careful during the night. When I'm not around, best keep your wits about you. Oh, need a hand, need a hand? Well, I'm here. If you need some assistance, I'm here to give it my all to the very end. Oh, fighting's a pain. For me, it's not an objective so much as a means to an end. Using the means to reach the end, to fight for that which I will not compromise on. It's in this way that you and I are the same. Vision. Vision? Oh, this thing? Yeah, whatever. We are entrusted by the people to loyally see out their wishes. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is special in that it carries a dual responsibility to those both of this realm and the next. <laughs> Some plants only grow in gloomier spots with ample moonlight. You ever seen any? Oh no? Well, I'll have to show you next time. Zhang Li looks young, but his personality is a bit dusty. Knows everything, but doesn't fret over anything. Hmm, couldn't be the he's, uh... <laughs> Forget it, whatever. Have you seen Chi-Chi? Tell me where she is quickly. I need to go seal her away. <laughs> Baiju. Ugh, that guy. Tianchun Ningguang. Well off, radiant gaze, exquisite face, and the no incapable of anything. Beidou is well known in Liyue. She doesn't know me, but that's cool. Me just knowing about her is enough. Oh man, I really do want to make friends with her. I hear Master Ching Chiu is writing a book? Standard novella or a ghost story? I think I should go tell him about all the things I run into. That'd make for a really good read. Positive energies and unity between yin and yang. Huh, who knew such people existed in this world? What would I know of the Adepti? Ay ay ay, that kind of stuff is top secret. Don't come asking me about it. The Yu Hung Kuching. She's quite hard to talk to. She's so uptight. <laughs> really makes me want to mess with her. She wouldn't knock me in the head with her sword though, right? Or would she? Xiang Ling's a riot. Ah, only a little boo, and she jumps. She's so easy to scare. Being in the industry that I am, I just love these kinds of people the most. But gotta keep it in check, though, in case Guoba ends up toasting me instead. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl, frilly churl, willy churl, frilly willy hilly churl. <laughs> Verse monger of the darkest alleys. That's me. If you ask me, there's nothing hard or scary about working at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. It's just a pain is all. It's a shame others see us going out to work at night and just don't understand. And that's what scares them. You all just don't understand.
I'm Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's 77th funeral director. My grandfather was the 75th. First thing I took over was funeral affairs. <laughs> Surprising, huh? And just like that, it's already been a few years. Time really does go by so quickly. Balance must be maintained, and yet destinies remain variable. Death has its own rules, and yet is still hard to predict. Remember, no matter where, no matter when, no matter what the reason, one should never poke fun at death. Only once you know and respect death can you truly understand the value of life. Ugh, I gotta find something fun to do. Sitting around doing nothing is a fate worse than death. A bright moon aloft amid the vast, clear skies. <sighs> Moments like these are just perfect for writing poetry. Qingxin slime condensate. Ugh. Surely this is Xiangling getting payback. La 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 la. Steamed fish with a side of prawn dumplings. Silly churl, billy churl. Silly billy hilly churl. Ooh. Tonight the stars are dazzling and the moon majestic. It must be a special day. But just what day could it be? <laughs> I know, I know. It's your birthday. <sighs> it really is a great day. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah, this is good. Thanks. I never imagined that, that I, Hu Tao, could ever be like this. Energy like a rushing torrent. A heart soaring like a gliding eagle. I feel great. If I reach my full physical potential, then the next test is of the heart. It's largely thanks to you that I've been able to step foot into this uncharted territory. It is here that heart and soul are as one like clouds. Death is a constant for all among the multitudes that sit beneath the heavens. Is it my time? I'll remember that. Quit it! Time to go! Cross over! Pyre, pyre, pants on fire! Huh? Go! Phew!